Hi guys, it's Jamie here. Welcome to another journal with me. I have a lot of leftovers from my tear sheets from when we did this page two to three days ago. Rather than throw them out, what we're going to do is put them onto our next double page spread using some Mod Podge. Actually use the sewing pattern paper down the center because it's flexible on that fold. And then with the rest of it, we are going to fill in some gaps. Look at that, I still have some bits left. Now the page is completely covered. It's not quite dry, but I don't think it matters. We're going to blank out some areas using white gesso. I've gone back to my favorite secondhand book, which is the Norman Rockwell. And I'm going to fussy cut out this hat check girl. Now she's cut out, I'm using my black Versafine ink to very gently go round the edges. It doesn't matter if there are some edges you can't get to. This is purely to help highlight some parts of the figure when it goes against a background. For the background, I found these faux handmade papers and I thought if they go opposite each other, one can be for writing on and one can be the background for the hat check girl. I might sponge around this as well to make that stand out. I'm going to use the Jumbo Java, which is that ready brown that I wasn't overly keen on initially, but have grown to like a little bit more. And if necessary, I'll mix it up with another one. There you can see the difference just framing that piece of paper has made. These go on very strong, by the way. So if you're used to distress ink, you'll want to knock a bit off. I'm also going to frame the actual book page. Using the clear gesso, I'm going to add a primer now to the work that we've done so far. The reason for adding a primer at this stage is so that any watercolour treatment I do on top of this page will not sink into the paper and will give a truer colour. I used this Bark Derwin Intense watercolour pencil for the first time the other day and discovered how intense it really is. I'm going to lightly spray the pages and the pencil, get a bit of splashing going, take a brush to the pencil in the corners, adding some depth of colour little bit down there as well. The advantage of having a wrinkly surface is that any dribbles are going to highlight across all the layering. We're spraying each little section and just moving the colour around and letting it do what it wants to do. And then attacking it with a heat gun. Using up the last of the ink on this page, I'm going to rub over with the brush that's got the Jumbo Java on it. We are good to place our focal points onto the page. Now that's in place, I'm going to use the Memento Espresso Truffle which is darker and go around everything to blend that a bit more into the background. We have a nice grungy look. I'm going to put our hat check girl on. To me, she looks overwhelmed. So I found a phrase that I think goes with that. I have a gel pen, you can use pencil, marker, whatever you want. I am simply going to do a bit of scribbling around the phrasing, and it is scribbling, just to help that stand out a little. Got my date stamp. How we're using this as a prompt. Our prompt is going to be, what do you do when you feel overwhelmed? How do you get out of that feeling? What action do you take? How are you gentle with yourself? I will see you very, very soon. Bye.